So at this point, you guys are probably on the verge of despair if you live in the U.S. or you care about what happens in the U.S. like we in Canada do. You're probably going, well, if all the candidates are bought and sold and all the major media outlets are just trumpeting the points of the people who have bought and sold them, then how? How are we going to fix this? And I'll tell you the answer. The answer is the mother effing internet. The same thing that is bringing my voice and this gorgeous Minecraft world into your ears and in front of your eyes, that same thing is the answer. What is going on, guys? Unite the Clans here, back in your life with another episode of Life in the Woods Renaissance. Now, uh, for those of you that don't know, in this series, we are doing a walkathon, quote unquote. We're just walking sort of endlessly in one direction. And um, we're trying to see as much of this beautiful world as possible along the way. So in between episodes, I snuck down by this river. Oh, oh, we'll have to check that out in the morning. Dug a little hole. I've been trying to grow some lettuce uh, for some of these recipes, but I haven't had much luck. Uh, however, I have been working. I got my inventory totally organized. I got one of my backpacks dyed. I have so much food. It's silly. And we are going to just crash for the night and we are going to set off in the morning. Oh, I didn't show you guys this. This is the presser. It is uh, required a good bit of my iron to make, but uh, it's going to give us access to new stuff as we go forward and continue in this game. What have I got here? I think these are things I want to take with me for the most part. Uh, yeah. Oh, you know what? Let's, uh, I got, a, I got something we're gonna do. I, I, this is something that I've been meaning to do since I discovered it was an option. So I'll grab all this stuff. I'll use it to, uh, or I'll fill up, uh, the backpacks with it before we set off. But what I'm gonna do is put this back. And then what we are gonna do, and we'll see if I'm able to figure it out. Uh, we are going to, oh God, I don't remember the recipe. Uh, give me a sec. I'll be right back. Okay, I got it now, guys. We are gonna make ourselves epically cooler. So a couple of panes of glass, one piece of iron, which might be my last, and um, two ink sacks, and you're done. Check it out. Glasses. Now, this doesn't make me instantly cooler. Let's get that helmet off, and let's put these on. Yeah, these are definitely not cooler, right? Pretty geeky, but we're gonna take it up a notch. Ready? Whoops, let's get these things off my face. Now we do this. Oh, oh shoot, it's the wrong dye. I was supposed to make sunglasses. It's supposed to be gray dye. Oh well, I guess we're wearing geeky glasses until I find some gray dye. Uh, okay, I am going to grab the last of our things. Uh, and guys, we're gonna set out, say goodbye to this little place. Now what has happened in the interim is this. This thing has grown, it's a grapefruit tree. Can I get a grapefruit? Uh, maybe with the shears? Hmm. Okay, well, I'll figure it out. Whew. Okay, I have grabbed all of the grapefruits. I wouldn't put away those geeky looking glasses until we can make him super cool sunglasses, which I thought we were going to be able to do. Oh, sweet. I will take you and I'll make sure I don't take you. Um, so the way that I've got it organized now, and God, this is a boring, if this is the first episode you have tuned into, uh, I've got this black one is full of all my cooking stuff and my pre sort of prepared meals. The green one is full of uncooked or partially cooked foods and then um, the brown one is just general stuff blocks and extra armor and tools and um, if you are brand new to this series it is an endless westward walk through life in the woods renaissance we have silder shaders on and uh, the combination of those two makes just about the most beautiful version of minecraft i can imagine um, and we're walking west far lands are bus style but without a, a finish line without a goal in sight we're just walking for the sake of walking and I have my flippers on. We uh, found these a little while back. Take a look at the difference that you get. Ready? Look at the speed. So quick. 
Yes, so flippers are, uh, are, are here. And as we've explored, we've stumbled across some very cool stuff. I hope it continues in this episode. Um, now, I'm getting a little chicken, guys, but I was going to talk politics today. Now, that's not something I usually do, and it's not something that most YouTubers usually do because they don't want to scare anybody off. Let's say I'm a, ooh, a crazy conservative and uh, I have really strong right-wing ideals and a lot of you guys are progressives or liberals. That would be terrible for me if I revealed that and it scared a bunch of you guys off. Are you coming to play, you skelly? I don't even know where he was. All right, let's just push forward and we'll see. There. Yeah, get smashed. Boom. Get destroyed. Beautiful. We got a bone. Perfect. We might be able to use this to tame a wolf. Uh, speaking of Firelands or Bust. But um, yeah, I was going to talk politics today, guys. Now, in doing so, I'm probably going to reveal my sort of political leanings. And if you think you don't want to know or you think you just don't care, or you're brand new to this series, and you think, who is this guy, and why is he talking about politics, while well, he's playing Minecraft, then go ahead, skip this episode, and the, we will continue the journey in the next episode. But, for those of you that do want to stick around, I think if I had to label myself, the term would have to be progressive. And, um, I'm Canadian. So take this with a grain of salt, that I don't live in the U.S., nor will I get to voice my opinion in who becomes the next president of that country. But if I have an opportunity, and I think it's something like 43% of my viewers are American, if I have an opportunity to influence some of you guys in the way you vote, there might be an opportunity to, to uh, well, there won't be an opportunity with the size of my audience. There won't be an opportunity to change anything, but there might be an opportunity to enlighten a person or two. Let's just make sure I'm going the right way. And I am. Um, but uh, I, I'd sort of always had liberal leanings, and I mean that's mainly because that's what my parents thought. But uh, my parents weren't progressive. They weren't uh, really politically active and excited about the issues that are, are super important to them. Um, they, they just weren't the most political people. And to be honest, I haven't been either. But I think that we're in a really unique time right now. If you live in the States or you've been following the um, primary season, the sort of ongoing battle between Donald Trump and the rest of the uh, fools on the right wing, and between Hillary Clinton, let's see if one bone is going to make us a friend. And wait, before I do, let's check the brown backpack, see if any bones hiding in there. There are not. So I don't think you can make a dog be your friend with one bone. Can you? I don't think so. Wow, what's happening to you? Okay. Jeez, same thing that's happening to me. Oh, Lord. What is happening? What in the hell? All right, guys, I have to set up for the night. I will continue talking in the morning. All right, guys, we continue the journey. Uh, I didn't make a dog friend, but we did waste our one and only bone. So you never know. Eventually, we could get a pet wolf. Uh, it would be fun if we could. Uh, oh, take that. Perfect. Um, yeah, it's been a really interesting time. Uh, and... I think that if you live in the States or you're following it, uh, you're likely listening to some of the major news outlets. And the biggest thing I have been turned on to recently is how disingenuous they have been throughout this cycle. Now, as you might expect, uh, as a self-described progressive, the candidate that has appealed to me most has been Bernie Sanders. And I know a lot of people on the right who are conservatives are not big Bernie Sanders fans, but there has been so much misinformation put out about the guy that it, it's just, it's really tough to watch. Uh, I mean, the major news organizations in the U.S., like MSNBC, uh, owned by Comcast, Fox News, and, and uh, CNN are owned by major, major companies whose owners, whose, whose rich CEOs and executives are massively funding the political system in the u.s i think and now again i'm get probably getting too deep into this strawberry oh yes okay now we're gonna do 
uh, we're going to right click. Do I need to right click with shears? It's possible I might need to right click with shears. Okay, no, it just works if I hit it with shears. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, there's been a, a massive amount of misinformation, distraction uh, from the right wing and from the, the Hillary Clinton side of that Democratic uh, nomination battle, whatever you want to call it. Um, Bernie Sanders, in my mind, has done an incredible job sticking to the issues and attacking Hillary Clinton on those issues. Um, I mean, she's been investigated by the FBI. He hasn't talked about it. The major media outlets aren't taking any time to talk about it. And, um, oh God, this is cool. This is kind of gorgeous, eh? Um, and she's attacking him on, on absolute nonsense. It's really frustrating to watch that for the first time ever in my life, I have a candidate who speaks about and seems to care about the issues that I care about. Um, and that really hasn't happened in the U.S. or in Canada in my lifetime when it comes to uh, politicians. I've been watching people from a different generation who care about different things and who are massively influenced by their corporate uh, donors. I've been watching them just kind of run things the way they want to run it. And I finally have a candidate who speaks about the things I care about. And by no means is Bernie a perfect candidate. Uh, I mean, I think he's in his 70s, and, and Barack Obama was, was uh, I think he's aged about 20 years in his eight years in office. And I can't imagine what would that would do to someone in their 70s, right? I mean, we've seen every single president go into that office looking, you know, normal and come out looking haggard and old. What is this? Ah, slimes, freaks. Okay. Skeleton skull. Give me this. Can you break a skelly skull? Yes, you can. What is happening here? Road lines. Okay. Well, I just want to get the hell out of here. This is uncool. I don't like it. It's freaking me out. It's some weird mystical sacrifice spot. Where I guess we're out of the, the pastures and into the swamps, which is a bummer. But um, guys, let me take a break, and I'll see if when I come back, I can kind of get my thoughts together and finish talking about what I was talking about. Something about this area is causing the game to crash, so I'll see if I can manage to get through it, guys. Uh, what I haven't managed to get through is my political point. Uh, I somehow decided to start this episode talking politics, and... Um, I just didn't realize how unprepared I was to do it. Um, yeah, I I mean, the, the main thing that's been obvious to me so far uh, as I've become a real, uh, real sort of follower of the American political system is the influence that money has. And a lot of the candidates are bought and sold, and they are not the candidates you think they are. They are not out there fighting for democracy and trying to represent the people of their constituency and things like that. They're interested in money and they're given a lot of it because they have the power to make other people a lot of it. For example, now this is just off the top of my head, but Bill and Hillary Clinton, they've been in politics for 40 odd years and um, made over that time in donations. Take a guess, $151 million. Now people don't just give them that money for no reason. Has anyone ever given you guys $151 million over your 40 years? Well, Amherst, spread it out over one year. Tell me if you've made that money in one year. It would be something around like $3.2 a year just for being you. No, they're giving that money because they can make other people mo money, right? Get rich, get paid. People pay them, and then when they're in power, they make things happen that help the people who originally gave them the cash. Um, and it's a broken system, and it took the internet for me to realize it. Major news, like the TV news and newspapers, really, honestly, have become useless. And they don't provide a lot of news. In fact, they're just sort of, because they're owned by the same people that are financing the campaigns of people like Hillary Clinton and Marco Rubio when he was on the Republican side, the sort of establishment candidates, they... um 
because they're also the people who own the the net, the news networks are also funding some of the candidates then you don't get fair and balanced fox's fair and balanced is total bs they're not fair and balanced i've never heard them uh, attack hillary on the same sort of nonsense issues that they attack bernie sanders on and i've never heard them uh lob bernie some of the softballs that they lob hillary it just doesn't work the same and um in comparison they during the the republican primaries the republicans got complete nonsense questions from people like uh what's his name anderson cooper i think that's his name um just stop like what's your favorite type of music oh how'd you meet your wife oh what's your favorite sandwich meanwhile they're going you're screaming at bernie sanders how are you gonna pay for this it's just it hasn't there is just way too much corruption to the point where the same money that influences the people in power, um, in political power, that same money is influencing the news coverage. And I might need this. Uh, let's see if my shears can help me out in this situation. And we are going to need to get ready for bed. It's almost bedtime. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, let me figure out a bed. I'll put this down. I'll come back to you guys in the morning and I will tell you. I will tell you how you get past all this BS, how you, how you get to the truth and you find out the real information, and I will tell you in the morning. So at this point, you guys are probably on the verge of despair if you live in the U.S. or you care about what happens in the U.S. like we in Canada do. You're probably going, well, if all the candidates are bought and sold and all the major media outlets are just trumpeting the points of the people who have bought and sold them, then how? How are we going to fix this? And I'll tell you the answer. The answer is the mother effing internet. The same thing that is bringing my voice and this gorgeous Minecraft world into your ears and in front of your eyes. That same thing is the answer. The news that you get online cannot be bought and sold because your views pay the bills the same way that your views make me a little bit of money. If you have a major online news network, and I'll tell you, there are a couple, um, you don't need money from ads. You don't need money from corporate sponsors. You make your money off the people that watch, the same way I do, and the same way everyone on YouTube does. And that makes it incredibly diplomatic. Um, what people care about will get talked about and will get shown. And if you have a little integrity, you get to decide what you talk about and what you show people. And you get to show them the things that you really care about. And that is the beauty of the internet. It's, if not a democracy, a meritocracy. The, the good succeed. Those who put in the hard work and make great things get rewarded. And there's one online news network out there that has been killing it and killing it for, God, over a decade. That's the Young Turks. Now, I uh, don't talk about politics in this series. I, I haven't. And I also haven't talked about other channels but if you guys haven't checked out the Young Turks TYT, then you're missing out. Uh, especially if politically you sort of agree with me. If you're a big conservative and you f follow all the right-wing talking points, then we're not going to agree. Uh, and you're probably not going to like watching the Young Turks, but that's the beauty of them. They are not pretending to be fair and balanced. They are a progressive news network. It covers the news in a way that the major networks refuse to, and that has been my major source of inf ins huh, information throughout this whole uh, American political season. And I hear things on there that I don't hear on other news networks, that I don't hear on cable news uh, or TV ma major network news. I, it just, they don't cover it. They don't cover those things. And what are you, pairs? Yeah, I guess we'll... Here, let me get some more pears, guys. Uh, no, you know what? Screw it. We don't need pears. We're stocked up on food and we're stocked up on pears already, so screw it. Um, I'll just leave you guys with saying that in the age of the internet, we're running out of excuses to be ignorant. We're running out of excuses to put our heads in the sand and not know what's really going on in the world. And as far as I can tell, with it its outdated system, the American political system, has its head in the sand. The issues that are being discussed aren't uh, underemployment, unemployment, student debt, uh, health care for all, um, you know, logical foreign policy. Get wrecked, fool. 
All right. Uh, those issues aren't being discussed. They're spending their time just hyping up nonsense. And um, with the internet, you're not allowed to just be stupid anymore. You're not allowed to just believe what you hear on the news. You need to take some time and read about it and find out what the real facts are and who's giving them to you. And once you've done that, you can know where to go to for the real facts, for the source, for true information and not hype and BS. And in my time and my experience of watching and following the news and um, especially doing so online, TYT is as honest as a news network gets. And that has been absolutely refreshing. Uh, they also have a major campaign to get money out of politics. Now, I explain that as the source of a lot of the problems in the American political system today. And um, it's called Wolfpack. Um, and if it's something that you care about and you do want to see change in the way that things are run and you want to see the issues you actually care about get talked about by the people who are running for president, then you need to support them and, and the things they do. Um, but guys, I've gone on a long enough rant today about what a mess the American political system is and um, what a mess major cable news and, and network news are. But I've also let you know there is a little bit of hope out there. There are people making news and doing a good job and um, and they're passionate about it and they're honest about it and that's the Young Turks. And I'm sorry if I've gone on a long rant, but there aren't many YouTube channels or podcasts out there that capture my attention like that one does and have me coming back listening and watching every single day. There are almost nothing, there's almost nothing that I listen to or watch every single day and that news, that news show is one of them. Uh, so I wanted to take a moment and talk about it. Guys, I hope you haven't minded the unique nature of this episode, the fact that I've rambled a bit and talked about topics that don't normally get covered on a Let's Players YouTube channel. Um, but they're things I care about. And if you like this channel and you're watching this series, you might care about them too. Uh, Geeks, that is going to do it for this one. My name is Unite the Clans. This is Life in the Woods Renaissance. And I will be back with you with another episode in a few days. And up until... Yes. That's it. If y'all have never seen this, welcome. Welcome to Building with UTC. This is the biggest and best place we've ever built. Uh, it's magnificent. I adore it.